Hi Tom. Hello. Um, my name's Simone. I'm going to be asking you a few questions about your lifestyle and occupations and uh, work and mm -hmm. things like that. Um, I'm a student at the University of Sydney, so this is for um, an assignment we're doing for assessment and planning. Um, yeah, for my master's degree. So, we'll start with your age. 24 years old. Yep. And uh, where do you live? Um, currently I live in Annandale in Sydney. Yep, no worries. And uh, do you live in, in a house with a so, family or friends? No, I or live in a self? house. My girlfriend and I share a room. Yep. And there's another couple and then there's a French girl. So there's five people in total in the house. Cool. Yeah. No worries. And how long have you been living with them? Um, just over a month. Yeah. So, yeah. Cool. And it's going well? Yeah, it's going well so far. Everyone everyone gets along. And um, there's no major personality clashes or oh, that I can see at the moment anyway. So everyone sort of um, pulls their own weight a bit. And yeah, no, it works well. Cool. No worries. Um, and where have you... Where have you previously lived? Um, so last year I was living in Wollongong with a bunch of friends. There was five of us in a big house. And then before that I was just living at home with my um, parents, family, yeah, siblings. Nice. Yeah. And so which are you, so you're liking this living situation now? Um, moment, yeah. More than your, your other one? or? Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, the, living with the friends in Wollongong didn't work um, very well. Well, it was fun, but um, the, like cleaning and the house was very big. Um, yeah, and so I don't know, yeah, living with friends wasn't quite what I thought it would be. Um, and it's nice to live with strangers. Not strangers anymore, but, you know, come in and meet someone and... You've got like the, all, everything new to you know learn about each other and and um, yeah I think I enjoyed that and meeting fr their friends and yeah just the different opinions that you get rather than yeah your friends that you already know and you'd probably see them just nearly as much anyway as, as if you didn't live with them and yeah it just didn't I prefer this. What do you think are the main reasons why it didn't work in your old house as, as well as here? Um, probably we can poke a bit more fun at each other in those places and um, it, yeah, it was five boys and sometimes fun goes a little bit too far with boys and then yeah. next thing you know it's a bit, it's not super serious but yeah. all of a sudden you know, little jokes turned into something more and then, oh, what other reasons? Yeah, there was a few uh, messier house members, which yeah, who they didn't really, um, yeah, they didn't sort of pull their weight as much as they probably could have, and ended up getting picked up by others, and that created a bit of disharmony yeah. <laughs> amongst the group. So, so then, yeah, there was just always little things that would, you know, they didn't really matter, but you know, it, when you're living together. It's sort of they're the things that build up, and it's like, all right, I've had enough. Yep. But yeah. So you think the messy house sort of contributed to like I think that a was, bit of one of the for me that, that was a big one for me. I can get along with people. I don't really argue or fight too much, but that there was that was what for me it really, um, yeah, getting home after a full day work and then the kitchen's filthy and you just want to cook your dinner and. Yeah. No, it's yours. And then you start blaming people, and you know it gets a bit. Yeah, well, you can blame, but if no one's around, you sort of just got to clean it up yourself, and or you can cry or something. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, what um, what are your main responsibilities in the house now that you're living in? Do you feel? Um, just clean up after yourself, really. At yeah. the moment, yeah. Yeah, just look after yourself and look after your the things that you use and mm -hmm. we've got we share a toilet three of us um, my girlfriend and then our their single housemate so yeah. I guess we it's only a small bathroom but that's probably a, a responsibility but yeah so yeah. keeping communal areas clean and communal areas when you use them I guess and 
Yeah. Things like... Your own space. And yeah. Doing dishes and yeah. mopping floors and that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Cool. And so you feel like you contribute to the house in what other ways? Oh, hopefully I'm a friendly housemate to have around. Yeah. Um, I'll, you know, if someone's dishes are sitting there and I'm washing mine up, I'll wash, yeah. wash theirs up. That kind of thing. I'm happy to vacuum, mop, sweep the floors, do all the things that everyone's got to do because, yeah, so. Helps you, it helps them. Yeah, exactly, yeah, so. Make a nice space for yourself to live in. Yeah, I think, mm. yeah, I just try and contribute wherever I can, really, when it suits me, maybe, but. <laughs> yeah. Still, yeah. Still. Alright, so, do you feel like, yeah, you so see your home's a quite a happy set of environment to be in? I mean, I compared so. to the one, and, you know, yeah. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. Well, moving on to a different topic, what do you do for fun? For fun, oh, I do lots of things. Um, skateboard, ride bikes, um, I'll, I'll play any sport, um, catch up with friends, Bit of drinking, yep. bit of partying, you know, music. Like to read. Um, yeah, that's probably for fun. Yeah, that's okay. the main fun <laughs> activity. <laughs> yeah. And so, what would you say is your like favorite person out of those? Like, what do you sort of focus on the most, or what do you find yourself doing the most? Yeah, probably, probably find myself. Skating the most at the moment, yeah, like, um, just seems to be the most accessible for me at the moment, like, mm -hmm. paths everywhere, good roads, and, yeah. um, yeah, I sort of, you need someone to kick the football with and that, and, yeah, I haven't been running too much, and there's nowhere to ride my bike, so, yeah, skating at the moment. Nice one. So, you have easy access to parks and skate parks, and it's, you know... Quite skateboard friendly around here. I know some yeah. some places can be a bit anti skateboard. No, nah, there's good paths and not too many big hills, and it's just a good way for me to get from A to B sometimes. And also, there's a nice big park close by, and it's just nice to go for a, go for a skate and just yeah, yeah. roll roll around aimlessly and yeah. have a bit of fun. Yeah, nice one. So, do you um? Do you sort of maybe use skateboarding as like a way of, I don't know, like stress relief or it sort of, have it, does it have it's any personal meaning Not intentionally you? probably, but it, yeah. it, turns, it, it has turned out like that and now now if I've had a, a busy day or something like that and I see the skateboard there, I, I'll definitely go for a skate and yeah, it sort of just yeah. leave your troubles behind and then you come back and I don't know. People have their outlets, and yeah. I guess that's sort of just become a natural one for me after work. Just really easy to go, and it, I, I enjoy it a lot. So, right. definitely a bit of stress relief there. Yeah. Yeah. And do you use it as sort of a way of socialising as well? Like, do you yeah. do it with friends or? Are you? When I was younger, I did it with friends a lot, and um, now I our new housemate. There's another guy in the house, and he skateboards, so. Um, it's been a good like thing for him and I to bond over, I think, and yeah, I think there's there, yeah, there's lots of benefits coming out of skateboarding for me. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Can you think of any others or? Yeah. Um, obviously, the fitness is a is a great one, and yeah, yeah, it's a good way to like um, learn about your area, like you know, find your way around a bit better because. You know, when I go for a skate, I don't really have a... I don't say I'm going here. I just sort of yeah. roll as I feel. And, um, yeah, I'll, oh, that street looks all right. Go down there. And then, yeah, next thing you know, you've sort of got a bit better map of the neighbourhood. and Yeah. Find new things sometimes. And, yeah. So it has sort of a practical sort of... Definitely. Getting from A to B sort of thing. 100%, yeah. So I use it, like, a lot with that, like... Sometimes I have to work in the city, so I'll catch the train to the city and then I can just skate around the city and it's like much faster than walking and more enjoyable for me, so yeah, yeah it's sort of a double whammy. Have you ever thought of doing it 
doing it like competitive or it's purely just a leisure? Oh, it's pure leisure for me. Yeah. yeah. The level I'm at. Yes. There's nowhere, nowhere. Um, no, no. No. Nah. The pur there. purpose it serves for you is just purely just leisure and practicality at times. And yeah. Nice one. All right. So, work. What do you do for work? I'm an electrician. So you're wearing a Chinese outfit. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> electrician. Nice. So, yeah. And how long have you been doing that for? Um, it's 2008. So, like, yeah, eight, this is the eighth year, actually. Wow. So, seven full years. It's a long time to be yeah. doing something. It's still, do you still find it really enjoyable? Or? Yeah, I still, still go to work and enjoy it every day. That's good. Yeah. What about it is it enjoyable to you? Um, the guys that I get to work with, I enjoy being on a construction site, yeah. working with different trades. Um, you know, I get to use my head and I get to sort of have a bit of a say how things are done these days. So I enjoy making decisions and doing a good job. Yep. I think that's something that I enjoy. So, yeah. And you say you're quite, you've been in it a long time, so you're quite confident and you you know, you know what you're doing and you find yourself yeah, I feel confident like in your abilities. I know what I'm doing and I know how to find out something if I don't know what I'm doing. And okay. yeah, I, I think I know what a good what a good product is and what a bad product is. So yeah. I enjoy trying to make sure that like, that's well, one of the ways I use to make myself enjoy it is to like make sure I'm putting out good work because yeah, you can be satisfied with something if you if you've done a good job. I yeah, think. yeah, that's so, a really great attitude. Yeah, makes it easy. So you find yourself easily motivated to get to work and you, you, motivated, you, oh. you motivate yourself to do a good job. And, yeah. yeah, I mean, some days, obviously, you know, it isn't as easy as what I just made it sound, but yeah, I'd say majority of the time I can I can get out of bed and, um, yeah, be pretty, pretty... Yeah, I've accepted the fact that I go to work every day and mm. after I accept it, I decide to enjoy it so yeah cool what are your main responsibilities at work um so yeah i'll allocate tasks to other workers um reading <laughs> plans yeah allocate tasks for myself um ordering materials and any other parts and basically yeah i'll do do sort of all the all the work yeah so my boss is in the office, and then I'm sort of on on site doing all the work and organising all the work being done. So yeah. Wow. So lots of responsibility. Yeah, there's a fair bit. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so do you feel like um, so you work? You have subordinates, and you have like subordinates. people that work under you, yeah. and you have to delegate jobs for them. Yeah. Do you find it stressful at times, or? Well. I've I've been doing it for a while now, so it, I don't find it stressful really. Um, yeah. I try not to get too stressed out about work, full stop, because yeah. um, it doesn't really achieve much. I used to get very stressed at work actually, and it was just everything would go out the window once I started to stress a bit, and so yeah. being able to rectify that to some degree, mm -hmm. and yeah, no, I, I enjoy it giving tasks and thinking of things for other people to do and yeah. Nice. You mentioned that um, you've got some friends at work so you, so it's like a supportive environment like you feel like yeah you know? I think getting along with people is really important everywhere and especially at work and yeah. Um, yeah I've definitely got lots of friends at work I like to think that everyone I work with is my friend because it makes it that much better once you you know if you are working with your friends, so find a bit of common ground, and then you got a friend. Definitely. And so, how do you think it? Ha so, how do you think it helps at work? Like, have you ever sort of come across e an issue at work? And yeah, for sure. So, there was a, a guy that I used to work with actually, and he, oh, we got along well. We were, we were friends first, and then after working together for a while, we probably got a little bit annoyed with each other. Um, Luckily for me, I was the boss, so I, I was the one who was right. Not yeah. necessarily, but just because yeah. I was the boss. So um, I think it was good to, that we were friends because I was able to 
call him up and say, look, this is how I want you to do this. He wasn't happy with me at the time, but then after work I texted him and said, look, we've got to, you know, we're friends first and we work together second. And I think that that's somewhere where being friends is, that's one situation that I can remember it's really helped because if we weren't friends and I, you know, had to tell him how to do something and he didn't like that, and then, you know, he, he said something back to me and I might have said something back to him. Nothing terrible, but if we weren't friends, you know, we probably we would have said bad things about each other, whereas we just sort of left it there and and we were able to move forward the next day, which was, yeah. yeah. good. I mean, yeah, I guess being friends with someone makes conflict revolution at work a lot easier. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Um, so you were saying that your work is quite varied. You do different things at different locations and stuff. Yeah. How do you think that that goes for you? Enjoy that or? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I like to move around. Yeah. Um, Some variety in your. Yeah, variety your exactly. Yeah. And why That's, is that important to you? Well, well, just even sometimes some jobs, you know, they might go for over six months and going to the same place every day. I mean office workers and that, I don't know how they do it really. Yeah. Um, I really love, yeah, getting to go to a new job and a new location and... Being outside. Yeah, being, out, being outside but then being inside, like as the job progresses it changes a lot as well and... Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, you're lucky to have a job that's like that because not everyone gets to no, be out no, and about and change spoiled. their scenery. <laughs> that's a nice way to look at it. So... In your average week, do you find it similar to what your ideal week might be? Um, at the moment, yes. Yeah. But then, as this job that I'm on at the moment progresses, it'll start to get more like busier and the days might become more, um, I, I won't say stressful, but yeah, like there's more pressure on each day to yeah. get lots of stuff, stuff done, so... Um, at the moment, my ideal weeks, weeks are sort of happening, but yeah, it, it's definitely times when it's it's all a bit too hectic, and but you always get through those times. Yeah. yeah. Do you feel like you might use skateboarding as a way of sort of, you know, de-stressing after work or something? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's not always skateboarding, but definitely sometimes I'll go. Yeah, just after a hectic day, I. I'll, I'll, I'll always do something. I won't just sit there and think, oh, geez, that was a bad day. Like, yeah. I'll go for a skate or I'll go for a, to see a friend or like just get my mind off of work. Yeah. That's something important for me. So your friends help you through sort of those stressful times at work as well. Like, you know, not really intentionally, but yeah. Yeah, just that's something right. you fall back on. Definitely. Supportive. And mm-hmm. when I was, um, yeah, I used to always go to my friend's house every afternoon pretty much and... Yeah. That was how I just sort of, we probably all would come together and forget about work together and yeah. just hang out. For sure. But now, yeah, now I get to go for a skateboard or something like that. That's a nice way to sort of end the day as well. Yeah. Maybe. And is there anything sort of you wish you could do more of? Um, lots of things. Yeah. <laughs> Leisure. Said, yeah. Uh, what do you do? Like I'd like to um, ride my bike more actually. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I could. I wish there was somewhere close by that had um, a good setup for riding. But so there's nowhere sort of around here that has not a that facility I've found for yet. that. No, not that I found yet. Yeah. But that's okay. No worries. Yeah. Well, we'd better wrap it up there. Mm-hmm. But it's been great talking to you. Thank you. And um, I hope you have a good rest of the day. Thanks very much. Thanks, Tom.